I do collect sewing machines. I collect a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, the first sewing machine on the end here is a Singer sewing machine. It's a Model 12 from 1878. Wow. Now, what was the first year that the sewing machines were made? Do you know? 1848 okay. was the first year Singer made a sewing machine, mm -hmm. but those were very unreliable. Oh, okay. The early right. models did not always work right. They were very frustrating for people. Mm -hmm. And okay. this one is the first really good, reliable model mm -hmm. that Singer made. This made okay. Singer's fortune. Oh, okay. Uh, the Model 12 was a very simple machine. Mm -hmm. When you wind the bobbin, you actually have to put your index finger out to hold <laughs> the thread. Okay. Uh -huh. um, they made them in treadles and they made them in hand. The machine here is a chain stitch machine. It was made, made by Wilcox and Gibbs in 1898. Now we have good records from both yeah. Singer and Wilcox and Gibbs so we can look up serial numbers and find out the age. We don't have that on all the machines. I see. The chain stitch machine doesn't have a bobbin. It just works with the one thread uh -huh. and it's very quiet. So that was another selling point wow. that they had. Yeah. This style hand crank was made in England. Mm -hmm. The hand cranks that they had here, the hand cranks were more popular in Europe than they ah. were in America. Most of these in America were made in treadles okay. rather than hand cranks. Okay. It has a short little belt like a treadle has. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving this way, we pick up another American manufacturer. Hmm. This is the White Company of Cleveland, Ohio. They made this one. I actually collected this one in Milwaukee from someone. Oh. Um, Very the decals on the base yes. are beautiful. That's yeah. one of the things that really attracts me to yeah. the old sewing machines. And I try to get them all to work. I have to say this one is giving me a little problem. Uh, it's not quite working yet. And you do all your sewing on the antique machines, correct? Yes, I do. Yeah. All, I all my sewing and quilting. <laughs> um, mostly I use treadles because uh -huh you do have your hands free and it's a little easier for quilting okay. but when I go somewhere I like to take a hand crank with me ah. because they're very portable okay. and nice one of our members this one isn't mine it's fantastic condition mm -hmm. it's a Singer oh, 66 yeah. and this one was made as an electric portable and you can see it's got a wonderful case yes and the, the decal this little excellent. Spartan was uh -huh. made, they only made the Spartan for a few years from 1959 to 1961 hmm. and it was like the El Cheapo model. Oh, okay. They were making this to compete with foreign imports, mostly. It is Japan. a singer, though. It is a That's singer. What I thought it looked like it. Okay. And it's it's mainly a stripped down model 99. Okay. This one down like here. The featherweight looked. The looked featherweight is different. Oh, okay. All right. But these are heavy. Mm, if you pick okay. these up, they're not made of aluminum. They're mm -hmm. made of cast iron stone.